morning world from my mother's kitchen. Sasha and I are both not feeling 100%. I've got a bit of a sore throat now. Yeah. And Sasha's still recovering from her chesty mm. thing. <laughs> so we're having a healthy breakfast. Almond milk and oats and fruits and chia seeds. All the things that should make us feel better. I've actually been up for a few hours. I'm still waking up at about seven o'clock or earlier. So I got some work done, but I didn't eat anything. This will be my first meal of the day. Someone down here also who's been walking around and making a lot of noise in the mornings, haven't you? Have you discovered that the floor makes clicky sounds? I've really been enjoying the berries. The berries here in England are very nice. Eden's being a sphinx. She decided not to move. It's like a statue. Eden! Eden! Wait! <laughs> We've come to a different part of the forest today. Did a different loop. Wanted to check out this part. Don't often come down here. And Eden needed a little walk. So, some fresh air. It's a slight drizzle in the air, but it's gone now. It's starting to get a bit warmer again. Yeah. Might have to undo my jacket. <laughs> These pretty trees, they're like picnic trees. You looking at London? Get a much clearer view of urban life from this part. There's a reservoir there, which is where we get our water from for the town. Not actually sure where this leads. We'll find out soon enough. How's your hay fever? It's okay today. Although, I'm not sure how I'll be after we get back. <laughs> after all this long grass. Yesterday we went to the shops and we had to ask the pharmacist what type of antihistamines or nasal sprays and eye drops that Sasha can use because when you're pregnant, pretty much all of them say, sorry, consult your doctor or pharmacist before you take them, because they have not been tested. Managed to get some. I think you got some natural organic eye drop things. How much were they? It was ten pounds for nasal spray and eye drops. Yeah, quite pricey, isn't it? Yeah. But if it works and gets rid of the sniffles, then no complaints. I'm out of breath again. <laughs> I think my lung capacity is being squished. It's a fairly steep hill, though, to be fair. <laughs> I'm not out of breath. I'm ready to sprint. Come then. This way. I'm walking around carrying Eden's poo in a bag. <laughs> it smells like Brussels sprouts. Oh. <laughs> in England they have special poo bins that are just for dog poo. I'm looking for one. <laughs> Haven't seen one for a while, so we have to endure. The scent. It's a thousand reason. pound fine. Yeah. If you don't pick up after your dog in England. Yeah. One thing I'm definitely relieved about being here in the UK is that the ticks are a lot less. You barely ever get them here. So Eden is tick free pretty much every time we get her home. In Thailand we were removing ticks daily. We got to a stage where she was getting diseases all the time, at least once a year. So I'm glad we don't have to worry about that so much anymore. Still check her though, it's a force of habit now. Clean it up, Sash. Seed update. <laughs> How's it feeling? Big. This is my new trousers that I bought yesterday. Maternity, the big support band. So yep, I now wear my jeans up here. <laughs> <laughs> jeans. How much were they? <laughs> they were £15 in the sale. They were 30 originally. And they've got the ripped knees. Yeah, short girl problems though. Ripped knees is actually ripped calves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad. You wouldn't have been able to find those in Thailand. No. No, you'd struggle, wouldn't you? We are going to have peanut butter, whole earth, crunchy organic peanut butter with butter, 
Oh, with butter. <laughs> with banana. banana. Yeah, and um, some walnut bread, I think, as well, for afterwards. Two servings of bread. Yeah, just a quick and easy lunch. Yeah. If anybody's interested, this is what we're feeding Eden at the moment. I'm not sure if it's just good branding, but the ingredients seem quite healthy. She seems to like it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find it in Portugal, but what can we do? We need to wait until we fully settle before her food becomes 100% consistent. For now, she'll stay on this, I think, during her England time and we'll take a bag or two with us and do the whole transition thing because Eden is very fussy with food. We have begun our Portugal flight search and it's working out fairly expensive to be honest. It's not as cheap as we would have liked but it has to be done. Joe's just checking a different website while I look at the low cost airlines. So far we've got a cost of £345. That's for us both with just one cabin bag. Just looked up some alternative dates to get prices for if we have visitors and things. And for mid-September you can get a return flight for £95 each and in November it is £50 return, which is very cheap, £25 each way. But because Jay and I are going in the summer and high season and everyone's on their holidays, it is looking about £350, so it's a very big difference. So the Portugal research came to a bit of a dead end. We ended up discovering that it's basically £360 or nothing for the two of us to return. So we're going to have to just book it later today, I think. It has to be done. In the meantime, I washed my hair and it went flat. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Definitely need to have a haircut soon. You know, we're just heading down to the shops to get some bits and pieces for dinner. So let's get that over and done with. We just picked up a packet of this Merchant Gourmet red and white quinoa. They didn't have the raw no, stuff, did they? The raw one, only this microwave pack, so it will have to do. Yeah, we're not sure how it's gonna taste, but. Mm. It's just a bulker, isn't it, for the for the dish? Well, it's a quinoa and turmeric curry. Oh. So. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> for dinner tonight, I'm making a recipe from the Deliciously Ella Everyday book, which is a book that I've wanted to use for ages and cannot get the ingredients for most of the stuff in Thailand so I knew I was going to use this book a lot when we came back to England. Tonight's feast is a chickpea, quinoa and turmeric curry which me and Jay are going to have with brown rice. I've never had it before and I hope it tastes nice. Da -da -da. And this is the finished result. How's it taste? Have you tasted it? Yeah, I think it looks and tastes very nice. Excellent. I'm very yeah. happy with it. Whole family's eating, <laughs> correct? Yeah. A nice dinner from Sasha's favourite new cookbook. <laughs> there you go, Mum. Your car? Yeah, I've seen it. Johnny's doing a good job of doing it up. Wow. <laughs> One for my dad. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Wow. How is it? What's the verdict? It's nice, yeah. It's really good. It tastes um, hearty. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Enjoy. All right, dinner is done. I have had a change. Got in my pajamas, and we're gonna cozy up in the bedroom and watch some TV. Eden's just had a dentist stick for her dessert and she's now clicking around the room looking for more, I think. <laughs> that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, this is crazy. I'm just going to stay home. No, it's, Cece, you have to go, please. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll no, be fine. I can help with wedding stuff. Just lighten the load a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I think I was bred in the lab to help people. You know what else they bred in the lab? Pugs. Thank you, Jess. That would be great. Uh, no, Cece, I don't have time to bring her up to speed.